Advances in DNA technology have rapidly emerged since the structure of DNA was discovered in 1953. One of the most important advances made has been in the area of sequencing technology. DNA sequencing is the process by which the precise order of nucleotides within DNA is determined. Nucleotide bases pair according to specific rules. Adenine always pairs with thymine in DNA, or uracil in RNA, and cytosine always pairs with guanine. This is called complementary base pairing. By using the complementary base pairing rules, scientists have been able to sequence an organism's entire set of DNA, or its genome. To learn how to sequence an organism's genome, scientists began by looking at a virus's genome. They first determined the exact nucleotide sequence of the virus by cutting up its DNA into pieces and then finding the sequence of each piece by using the base pairing rules. Sequencing techniques often involve the use of modified nucleotides that can be detected during or after binding. By recording the order of the nucleotides that are bound to the unknown DNA strand, researchers can deduce the nucleotide sequence of the original piece of DNA. Shortly after sequencing the first virus in 1977, yeast became the first eukaryotic organism to have its genome sequenced. Initially, the process of sequencing was expensive and labor-intensive because much of the work of scientists had to be done by hand. However, today machines can be used to rapidly sequence large amounts of DNA in a short period of time and at a fraction of the cost. One of the many applications of DNA sequencing is its use in a very important technique used routinely in the field of molecular biology, PCR, or polymerase chain reaction. This is a technique for rapidly making many copies of any piece of DNA, also known as DNA amplification. Let's take a look at how PCR works. First, DNA is separated into two strands. Each strand is exposed to a DNA primer and DNA polymerase. This allows the DNA strands to replicate using actions similar to those in DNA replication. After one cycle, the original template strand has been copied, resulting in four single strands of DNA. The cycle is repeated, but this time, each of the four single strands of DNA acts as the template strand. In this way, with each cycle, the number of copies of DNA grows exponentially. Billions of copies can be made from a single piece of DNA in just a few hours. Once the DNA has been amplified in this manner, many different tests can be run on the copies rather than having just one sample available to conduct just one test.